boring the 24 by 45 metal building slab along with the nice driveway that approaches the metal building that we're going to be building. Welcome backpack. This is Adriel from Wolf Seal Buildings. We got some action going on back here. We're pouring the 24 by 45 metal building slab along with the nice driveway that approaches the metal building that we're going to be building. And so I'm going to show you guys a little bit more of about curing time. Uh, you know what you do after you know the concrete cured for you know for the first seven days. Uh, talk a little bit about a floor sense, also about pump. When is a pump needed and why is a pump needed at times? And then finally, just a little bit more details of how concrete is not all created equal. So I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And uh, this video will show you guys a little bit more detail of what you should look for when you're getting your concrete for your metal building. So let's get this started. So guys, right there we got the uh, ready mix truck already uh, pouring the concrete onto this pump. This is about 250 yards away. We got a really nice driveway here that if we drove one of these big trucks, we'd probably risk cracking this four inch driveway. So that's the reason why, you know, a pump might be needed and that pump typically can range from like 900 to a thousand five hundred dollars uh, just to rent this pump to be able to bring the concrete and haul it out here to bring in your concrete and and protect your driveway your existing driveway but if you have you know just grass or gravel driveway or a strong reinforced driveway and we can access the the site where we're going to be pouring the concrete and we don't necessarily need this pump. The pump guys have been pretty great. We've already brought in about 35 yards of concrete for this driveway approach that's coming out to the metal building. These guys are doing phenomenal work. We're in the process of screening. Now I wanted to talk about after after the concrete has been uh, troweled and boom finish everything is done for the first seven days we do recommend to water your concrete it is kind of cold right now it's around 50 degrees so you don't really have to water it too much maybe twice a day when it's hot we do recommend at least three times a day to keep that moist that concrete uh, moisture levels pretty giving it seven days to to cure and and watering it does help to make it strong for the first seven days we have had uh, situations where from the concrete a fluorescence or it's like a white salts that come up uh, when the concrete is curing it starts evaporating that white uh, efflorescence which is really salts coming out of the concrete and making your concrete look like white and and to a lot of people it might you might not like it and might not like how it looks but in reality about after seven days to ten days 95 percent of it will start coming off and you can even like rub it but just touch it and you'll and you'll see it on your hand so nothing to be alarmed it's natural it's just a natural process for your concrete there's another project that we did where it was really white and then like 10 days later uh, to 14 days later it was just a really really nice concrete so uh, if you guys have watched that video it's for a 28 by 85 metal building that we did so right now it looks really really nice we're still not finished and so just don't be alarmed whenever you see concrete whether you know from anybody that's just the natural state of concrete i did want to talk about how all concrete is not created equal when you do get quotes for concrete, sometimes you're gonna get like a four inch slab. Not all four inch slabs are created equal. Not all six inch slabs are created equal. So that is something to really understand, you know, with your footers in the inside, what type of rebar is being used. And that's more from the structural perspective, okay? But I'm gonna 
gonna talk more about the aesthetic perspective. And um, one of the biggest things that you that, that I recommend is to understand how to build that concrete to meet your metal building needs. I've been in the industry for about 15 years. I love what we do. And so one of the biggest things, two biggest things that we've always had problems with from a uh, metal builder perspective is water coming in through the underside, through the base row, through the underside. And two, water coming in through the underside of a roll-up door. Those are two big ones from a metal builder perspective that we've always had problems and it's the reason why I wanted to do the concrete because it's like buying nice boots. Uh, check out my boots. <laughs> boots that fit me, right? The concrete has to fit your metal building. And, and if you watch a lot of our videos, we do the notch edge details all the way around uh, where we do like a brick ledge. So we do a cut where the panel, and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit here. This form here, this one right here is about an inch and a half, and it's an inch and a half squared. That's where the panel is gonna be on the bottom. Not allowing any water to, to go under the underside. Okay, and it's important that it's done right with a good contractor that can also leave your building square because from a building perspective, the building is not square, it doesn't really help to have that notch because it's kind of like off. So the panel is just gonna be either on the air or the outside. So that's one. And then the notches on your doors. And that's what we're doing here. And uh, I'll be doing a video where I explain a little bit more once once i'm walking on this concrete and so that way you don't have any water approaching up to the building then it's important to also have a, an approach or a driveway that doesn't actually direct water towards your building based on your landscape so like for example that's where the home is and it's up in the hill all that water is going to be running here but we lifted this corner a little higher and then uh, had a, have the water redirect and go around the building. That's how aesthetically or even the forming of the concrete is important to match your metal building. And I really want to emphasize that because that's the reason why I decided to do concrete with our metal buildings is because I don't want you guys to go through that. I want you guys to have an amazing experience when it comes down to doing an investment like a metal building. I hope you learned a lot more about this. Stay tuned. I'm gonna be doing a tour when the building is up and I'm gonna explain all those notches and why those are important and why not all concrete is created equal. So stay tuned because we're gonna be bringing out more videos also about, you know, just a lot of questions that you guys have. Um, I know there's a lot of videos people are explaining about the product and so I wanna make sure that I explain more details about a lot of the questions that you guys have, a lot of the uh, do's and don'ts. Um, so stay tuned, this year is gonna be amazing and I hope that we can help you. So if you're in Texas, reach out to us, we're here to help. So take care, see you guys next time.